This is Dr. John Whitcomb presenting Biotoxin 9, Peeing Like a Racehorse. Sort of an interesting topic. Uh, how many times a day do you urinate? Four or five? That's what most folks will tell you. Can you imagine being used to going to the bathroom every hour? There are those who do that. Can you imagine waking up four or five times at night? Once or twice feels obnoxious enough. That's almost a sure sign of biotoxin illness. In fact, 60% of folks with biotoxin illness have it. How does that come about? Well, here's the story. Remember, biotoxins get into you by breathing them into your nose and then getting into your systemic circulation and setting off toll receptor proteins all around your body that say fire, 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 and putting out cytokines. And those cytokines go to your brain and overstimulate it or damage it one way or another, the leptin receptor, setting off abnormal responses in several critical hormones. Last week we talked about MSH, another is VIP, but to this week we're talking about antidiuretic hormone. What does antidiuretic hormone do? What it is, is the hormone that's very precisely regulated to quite a narrow little range, such that when you drink water, your blood gets diluted and the concentration of salts in your blood goes down. When that happens, your body wants to protect that layer of concentration of salt and potassium and electrolytes very closely. Every membrane in your body depends critically on that precise balance. And so instantly you put out a little bit of, you, you stop putting out a little bit of anti-diuretic hormone. It's confusing because it's like a double negative. And when you do that, you start peeing out free water. So your urine becomes much more dilute. The opposite happens when you're thirsty. When you're dehydrated and sweaty and thirsty, what that means is you've sweated off and lost free water so your blood concentration of salt is rising. So your osmolality or the concentration of particles or salt in your blood goes up. When it does that, you put out a bunch of antidiuretic hormone and that keeps your urine concentrated and you conserve water. All right, that system is in a very narrow little range. Can you imagine that range simply being set off? Biotoxins set it off and as a consequence, you have too low a antidiuretic hormone for a certain condition. It's just not the right condition. And as a consequence, your blood concentration gets too high. What that means is you are peeing out water all the time, and that makes you thirsty. So your osmolality, which should be between 280 and 300, is now 298 and your antidiuretic hormone should be higher than it is. Now you feel very thirsty, so you drink like crazy. But what came first was the damage to your sensor inside your pituitary gland. And that damage then led you to urinating out water first. You drank second, trying to keep up. Well, you're, here's where it gets kind of interesting. Your sweat glands figure this out. They say, we're going to help out. We know the salt is too high, so we're going to excrete a little bit of salt through our skin. Well, guess what happens when you have a little more salt on the surface of your skin? You become a walking battery, which means you conduct electricity, which means when you take off your wool sweater and pull it over your head and make static, normal folks make that a little bit. Folks with biotoxin illness and high ADH make that a lot, and they get lots of static shocks to the point where they find themselves turning off their light with their elbow or not shaking hands with people for fear of, start, of shocking them. That's almost a sure sign that you have biotoxin illness. How do we fix it? Actually, it's ridiculously easy. There's a compound that's an analog for antidiuretic hormone called DDAVP that you can take for as little as maybe 10 days, one tablet every other day, and you may be fixed. Now, that's going to require you first having gotten the biotoxin out of you and living in a safe home, but that's the previous seven steps or eight steps from today's talk. 
for now, you can find that people, I find that folks find that they've realized that on a journey they can fix by just using DDAVP to stop urinating 20 times a day. Now, there are some side effects. Some people hang on to too much salt water, or hang on to too much salt, and as a consequence get edema and puffy, and then they put on seven or eight pounds of salt water, and that can be alarming. That's usually short term. So the first step is get rid of the biotoxin. Second step is take DDAVP for a couple of weeks, and then you might be fixed, or you might need to keep it for a long term. Actually, DDAVP works for curious other things too, which you might want to keep it around for if you have biotoxin illness. But we're going to talk that when we get to von Willebrand's a couple of weeks from now. So what will work for me? I'm using DDAVP all the time now, partially just to get folks more comfortable. When they come and tell me, oh yeah, 20 times a day, and I'm hearing that much more often than I'm asking for it. This is Dr. Whitcomb concluding Biotoxin 9, peeing like a racehorse.